hey guys welcome back to the channel so this video is solely for those who are currently on a student visa or on a graduate visa in the united kingdom and the major reason why i'm sharing this video is to talk about some of the things people on this visa categories are doing wrong and you know it's really sad because i spoke with quite a number of people during the course of the week and despite the fact that we've shared some of this information on this channel in the last couple of months couple of years we still see people making this exact same mistake while on the graduate with visa so if you're going to the graduate with visa there's some things that you should be doing right and this is not just solely based on you know just solely to help what you're doing right now in the united kingdom also some things you need to start doing right to help you you know get your permanent residence here in the united kingdom because the truth is i've seen lots of people graduate from universities here in the uk go on the post-study work visa and few more down the line you know few more to the end of the graduate with visa they are stuck they've got no idea what to do on how to go about you know retaining or getting to stay back in the united kingdom to work so if you're in this category they definitely want to stick to this video till the end i'll share with you some of the money tips you need to pay attention to some of the tips on how you can land a skilled worker job here in the united kingdom so if this is something you'd like to know more about then you should want to stick to the video till the end and if you're coming across my channel for the very first time do want to eat on the subscribe button to join the amazing growing family and for my channel subscribers thank you guys for being here i really do appreciate you guys so without further ado let's get right into the video the reason why i'm sharing this video is because of you know two individuals i spoke with just this week and they had the same or similar situation you know they their post-study work visa will be expiring in the next couple of months and they have no idea on how they're going to be staying back in the united kingdom and I felt some of the mistakes, some of, based on, you know, on our conversation, some of the mistakes they're making are some of the things I've shared, you know, information about in, on this channel. And it's really sad seeing people make the same mistake on things that, you know, information has been provided on. And I just felt there's still lots of people that might be making the same mistakes. And it's important for us to have a chat about it. Now, if you're on the student visa and for some reason you're unable to get a skilled worker visa after completion of the program, now, so many people were able to, I got a skilled worker visa about two months to three months before the end of my master's program. So while I was doing my dissertation, I already got a professional job as a data analyst here in the United Kingdom. Now, this might not be the situation for everyone. So many people will have to like get on the graduate visa before they're able to get professional jobs and all of that. Now, if you're on the graduate visa, there are so many things you need to start paying attention to and start working towards from day one when you got on that graduate visa because the truth is if you get a two years graduate visa it goes really fast before you know two years is here and you have no idea what is the plan on staying back and one of the major mistakes i've seen so many people make is around their finances see guys if you're in a graduate visa this is the best time to make loads of cash in the united kingdom yeah i understand your tax system you know you get tax here and there and it might look like you're not really having lots of savings after you've you know um, incurred some expenses but the sincere truth is that being on the graduate visa one you're not limited to a particular job you can work multiple jobs you can actually make loads of savings and this is the mistake most people are making so for example um if you're working for example as a net care assistant you can take up side job like you know doing deliveries take as many multiple jobs as you can and the goal for this is for you to save enough money and one of the best ways for you to have some interest on your savings is opening an account with ifas global bank now if you have an account with ifas global bank you get to leverage on the interest rate available on your savings account so for example if you have an account with ifas global bank you can get 4.25 percent on your savings in the account so the way it works is if you have for example a thousand pounds in your account with ifas global bank you get 4.25 you know um from that particular account so i'm going to do a quick calculation so if you have if you get 4.25 uh, percent on 1000 it means that in a year you're going to earn up to two pounds in that account so if you divide that by 12 it means that every month you get like three pounds which is not a lot but imagine having like twenty thousand pounds thirty thousand pounds in that account and you're getting 4.25 percent you know annually on that account and you get paid every month so it's prorated every month it's one way of you being able to like save up some money and still get some interest on that particular uh, money so if you're looking at opening an ifas global bank account go to the description of this video use my referral um, link 
and open an account with FS Global Bank. And the good thing also is that aside from you getting interest, you can also earn up to £40 if you refer at least three people. You can get all of this information in the description of this video. Now, the second mistake so many people make is that they don't really start planning on their settlement in the United Kingdom. Say, wait, the best way to settle in the UK is to get a professional job. The way to get a professional job, so many other things start falling in place. Things like, you know, getting um, a mortgage, you know, getting so many other benefits, um, you know, that comes with having um, a right to live in the United Kingdom. And I see so many people waiting till they are about eight months to the expiration of their visa, and they try to like jump on training to build up technical skills. It doesn't work that way because you're going to put yourself on so much pressure and getting a professional job in the uk takes time especially if you're transitioning into a new job so if you're looking at learning data analytics you know software testing business analysis cyber security website, website development software development i think the best time to start is even while you're studying so if you're able to probably do any of these things while studying and you're waiting till you get on the graduate route visa you need to start learning those um, you know new skills from the first day you get on that visa so that you give yourself time you give yourself enough time to build on those technical skills and over time you gain mastery then you can start applying for a job and hopefully landing a professional job that will help you stay back in the united um, kingdom so if you're looking at the learning data analytics you definitely want to check out tech drive so tech drive provide data analysis training you know for six weeks and you're going to be trained on things around um, microsoft excel advanced excel um, SQL, um, SSIS, Power BI, and in the course of the training also, you're going to be building your portfolio, you're going to be getting a master CV created for you to give you competitive advantage on your future applications, and also, most importantly, you're going to get work experience added to your CV, which definitely will give you so much edge when you start pushing out your application. So if you want to learn more about the Tech Drive training, data analysis training with Tech Drive, then you should want to send an email to techdrive06 at gmail.com or click the link in the description of this video to visit uh, our website www.techdriveuk.com so you get as much information as you want you can also jump on whatsapp call or whatsapp message with us just get all of this information on the website so it's really important for you to start building that technical skills now so you don't get stuck along the line now and that means most people are making this let's let's for example you don't want to you know stay back in the uk after your graduate visa expires I think the best time to start looking elsewhere is the first day you get on the graduate visa. You might want to start looking at, you know, getting your permanent residence in Canada. There are so many people who are living in the UK right now, moving to Canada, some moving to the United States. And for you to get on those permanent residence, it's, you know, it's a waiting game. It, it takes a long time. I know people have been on this whole, you know, PR to Canada route for the last two, three years. So the best time is for you to start applying now, get your, um, you know your worst evaluation you know start pushing get yourself in the pool basically so that you know by the time they do uh, by the time the pool is being shuffled you might get the opportunity of getting that invitation for your um permanent resident uh, biometrics to canada so i think it's best for you to start that process now so that i, I know of someone who you know took her about two years so about three four months towards the end of her postgraduate studies she got that invite and now she's in Canada as a permanent resident. So I think the best time to start looking elsewhere is the first day you get on that um, graduate visa. So if you have any question, any concerns on what to do, you're stuck, you're looking you know, to get some help on landing a job or you know, whatever reason, and you're currently in the United Kingdom, they want to check out my one-to-one -one session, you can jump on the call with me, jump on the 30 minutes call you know, to give clarity and also answer all of the questions you might have around staying back in the UK or leveraging all the different opportunities available for immigrants in the United Kingdom. And if you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section. If you find this video informative or resourceful or insightful, whichever one, do well to hit on the like button. And if you're coming across my channel for the very first time, do well to hit on the subscribe button to join the amazing growing family. And my returning subscribers, you guys are the real MVP. Thank you for being here. I really do appreciate you guys. So this will be the end of this video and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you.